Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy David, and I'm coming at you with another episode of the Free Play Mode Presents How to Play Fire Pro Wrestling World. This is episode number four, and in this episode, we will be focusing on grappling from the back to do your back moves. Now, grappling from the rear is a little bit different than grappling from the front, even though initiating a grapple from the rear is the same as initiating it from a fr the front position there are some things that you need to do before you can initiate a rear grapple and that is getting behind your opponent getting behind your opponent there are two ways to do it from a grappling position and the other three ways your opponent must be in a dizzy state in order to accomplish this so the first way to do it while well, in a grappling situation is to assign the move back switch to your light medium or heavy front grapple and when you initiate this move the character that you are controlling will spin around to your opponent's back which will immediately allow you to do a rear grapple move the second way to do this while in an already grappling state is to assign it to your reversals because if your opponent grapples you from the back having this move assigned to one of your reversals will allow you to switch position and end up at your opponent's back. The first way to do this while your opponent is in a dizzy state is to do this simply from a move that puts your opponent into a dizzy state and you'll recognize these moves when you look into your character's move list or when you are creating a character because they have B behind them and let's go into Hiroshi Tanahashi's move set and see if he has any of these such moves. So right here we can see that he does have two of these moves that will put the opponent into a day state from a grapple and that's toe kick B and Manhattan drop B. And what this means is that rather than put the opponent onto the mat these moves will keep the opponent standing but put them into a dizzy state so what I'm gonna do is demonstrate with the Manhattan drop B how it puts your opponent into a dizzy state and allows me to circle around and then perform a rear grapple move Okay, so now the second way to do a rear grapple move while getting your opponent into a dazed state is to simply do a move and then pick them up so that they are dazed and you have enough time to circle around and perform your, your rear grapple move. You usually have enough time, the most time rather, after you complete a heavy grapple move. So I'm going to show you a heavy grapple move, then pick them up so I can perform a rear grapple move. So the final way we can accomplish getting an opponent in a dazed state is to do a heavy move and then depending on how much damage has been inflicted they will get up in a dazed state which will allow you to do a rear grapple move. So let me go ahead and show you guys that now. So those are the five ways you can perform a rear grapple move in this game, but your rear grapple moves are more limited than your front grapple moves because your front grapple moves are the main bulk of your standing offense when it comes to grappling maneuvers. In rear grapple situations, you have a total of six rear grapple moves in addition to being able to throw the opponent to the rope with the Y button, so allow me to demonstrate. X will be your light grapple from the rear position. Oh. 
Oh, gotta get gotta get poor old AJ back into the ring here <laughs> don't want to do that so let's reposition AJ so I just showed you the light grapple from the rear and you only get one of those and like light grapple you only get one medium from the rear and as far as heavy you get four you get B by itself You also get left and right in B. And finally, well, not finally, uh, you get up and down in B from the rear. So that's three heavy grapple moves right there. And finally, you can get X and A from the rear. So those are the rear grapple situations that you can do. And rear grappling with the heavy button, which is B, it is the same as the heavy grapple from the front and that you can assign medium grapples and light grapples to that situation. So, and that is pretty much it. That takes care of everything from the rear position. I do hope this video was informative. And I do hope you stay tuned for episode 5 of How to Play Fire Pro Wrestling World. This is David from the Free Play Mode signing off. Hoping you have a good evening. Peace, folks. I'm out.